Hey guys, it's Carrie here and I'm back on another video. This time I'll be unboxing the Samsung Notebook 9 Pro and testing Samsung new active pen that they made for this device, the 2019 model. So this came out earlier this year, or I think it just got launched to the public. And I'm so excited because uh, this, uh, um, I won this on a bid on offer on eBay. And so, the chargers are over here and so it is second hand and i want um it retails for eleven hundred dollars but i want it in a bit a bit bid for seven hundred and there it is guys and the reason that i want wanted to get this laptop wait let me put this away let's get the pen out <laughs> So I'm so excited. Uh, actually, it was the reason I wanted to get a um, a two-in-one device was because my Cintiq is way too bulky. Look at that, guys! It's so thin, and and I like the fact that it has USB Type C ports, and it could be charged with them too. And it's a full 360 design. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And the screen is just so beautiful. But let's take out the pen. And I'll be doing a drawing demo. I'm so excited for this device. Uh, there's no videos on YouTube about it, about it whatsoever ever since it came out um, on CS, like those CS videos. So no one has really covered this. I know Mobile Tech Reviews, they reviewed the older model of this, um, the 2017. And this is actually a mid-tier version. They actually have a higher model than this. So this is their new mid-tier pen, which is why it has a battery. I'm pretty sure you guys can see it. So I'm really interested to see what Samsung mid-level pen does because there's no information on, on it online whatsoever. I haven't seen any artists use this two-in-one and it's pretty powerful. It has a eighth gen Intel, on oh no, 8th gen Intel i7 and 8 gigs of RAM, 256 SSD, so pretty much similar specs, um, where is it, pretty much similar specs to my Cintiq, but just newer CPU, so there we go, right here, you guys, so we'll plug in the pen and then right here is just extra nibs, Let's put that away and let me bring, I'll compare it to my Cintiq in size. Oh man, it could fit inside the whole screen. Look at that. Oh man. Oh, you guys can't see that. Oh. <sighs> Sorry guys. There we go. Look at that. It could fit inside my Cintiq, the screen part. And there's a lot, Be bezels are pretty thin. So, let me quickly go over the ports um, here. Um, there's a headphone jack right here to USB Type-C. On the other side, nothing. And on the side, um, this is um, micro SD card, card reader, I'm pretty sure. So you can expand the storage, power button, and also fingerprint. So that's they, they ditched that Windows Hello thing and then another USB Type-C port. So I'm really excited. I love the design of this. It's sexy, it's stainless, and this is actually surprisingly their mid-tier model compared to their higher end one. So let's get right into the drawing part. Guys, to start off the drawing portion of this video, I will be trying out different apps to show you guys because at first I could not get the pressure sensitivity to work really well and I did a lot of research and I realized I needed to install the WinTab drivers because the Window Inks one wouldn't let me create nice flowing natural lines. So let me just create a new layer because as you could see, I did some sketches on here. I'll be drawing this way. Actually, you know what? Let me rotate it this way. No. Oops. Ooh, no. Did I damage it? Alright, guys. Alright, I'll be flipping it over using it as a two in one. 
Okay, all right. Um, but yeah, first, Autodesk Sketchbook um, is the main app that I try on everything. And as you guys can see, the pressure works okay on here. Um, it's not my favorite. The reason I'm not speeding up the beginning part of this video is because I want you guys to see. Uh, maybe let me zoom in. I want you guys to see how the lines look and if there's any latency because at first I noticed some latency before I updated the drivers and it was really bad and I couldn't handle it. Um, but for now, it works a lot better after I did that and I updated all the drivers in this. But Autodesk Sketchbook is not my favorite app on here to, um, to use with this pen. So far, it's not, um, it's not too bad. Let's open up Medibang Paint. So Medibang Paint, it works a little bit better. Uh, I'm not a fan of it. Uh, it just it works okay. It doesn't it doesn't feel like more naturalistic per se. So that's not my favorite app to draw on here. I even have I even downloaded Krita. Where is Krita right here? And um, I'll show you this pressure sensitivity in real time. First, and then I'm gonna pick a program and do it in real time. Oh, come on, why isn't it working? Oh, also this is touch screen. Of course it's touch screen. <laughs> so, and also this pen, it has magnetic in it so it could snap towards the front, which I'll show you guys a little bit. Not to all the sides of the device. It works in Krita. It works similar, similarly to Medibang Paint. Um, I'm not a. I haven't really used these programs. So I'm not familiar with it. Usually, I just draw in Photoshop or Paint Tool side. But as you guys will see, oh, come on. I'm just showing a variety of lines, but I do not like sketching on here or these programs. But one program that it does work in so well is Clip Paint Studio. How it works in Clip Paint Studio. Like, uh, let me show you. Let me just make another sketch right here and I'll zoom in because it's oh man, the pressure works the best in here and there's no <laughs> latency in the curve. Does it have an oh, let me show you. Let me zoom out because I already because I had to record this part two times because I realized I didn't have my microphone on, but I'm just doing a shitty just just testing it out in real time for you guys so you guys can see let me let me do it this way so it works the best in clip studio paint i don't even own this program like i really want to buy it now thanks to to this this device it works the best on here compared to photoshop where let me zoom out first I have like a horrible sketch right here, but you guys could see there's so much latency in my lines that it's driving me crazy. Like the pressure works, it's just, I don't know why there's so much latency and oh man. And the reason that I don't prefer Autodesk Sketchbook, even though it's my favorite drawing app on every other device mostly on android and ios so but on here it's just the cursor i don't know i don't really usually use autodesk sketchbook on my computer and i just mainly just use my phone to draw so i only use the mobile version but if you guys can see like when i'm drawing it has like this little cursor of a dash and it's kind of no even though it disappears when i draw but it's always there hovering and the pressure doesn't work as well it's it's my second favorite it's not it's not bad per se but i gotta say clip studio beats it clip studio beats it and i have so many pens now so for now the active pen is a yes it's, it feels like it's more closer to my wacom Intuos um, pad tablet pen. Let me get you guys a tip. I'll have better, <laughs> more full comparison video um, of these and 
Ah, uh, my Wacom Pro Pen, it's, uh, the, I like the nib on the Wacom Pro Pen, but it's a lot more, there's less parallax with the Samsung Ac New Active Pen. But I wish I could, um, I wish there was an option for me to, to switch this into a left click button or something. For now, I, I just don't see it doing anything, as I hope. And next to the Norris Pencil, the Norris Pencil is still my favorite. I really wish it would work on this model, but sadly it doesn't, because this one is the mid-tier, and this pen has battery. Samsung just changed everything. But overall, and let me put it again next to my S-Pens. <laughs> so I still prefer my S-Pen over this too, but, it's not it's not horrible it works pretty great it just doesn't work as well as some of my other pens but I do enjoy this experience especially since it's my first two-in-one where I can really draw on Ooh, I flipped it so I really prefer the lightweight and power. This is the perfect device for me. So let's just get right into speed painting mode right here and yeah. All right guys, right off the bat, after drawing for a little bit longer, it feels like drawing on glass. It feels like I'm dragging the pen across glass and that's a weird feeling for me because even with my Note 10 Plus, my Cintiq, doesn't really feel like drawing on glass. So. It feels weird so dragging across the canvas felt weird um, but other than that it works the pen pressure works there's still some little hiccups here and there so you can definitely tell this is the more budget version that Samsung has made this year another little hiccup that I got is that it has this tick 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 tack noise when I'm drawing for long periods of time I feel like maybe because the nib isn't as screwed in or like the something about the build quality but overall this works um it's not the best one on the market um if you guys want a better pen experience with the wacom emr technology and use the samsung norris pencil i would suggest get 2017 model or get the more upgraded model of this and if you guys want to see more i'll have a full review of this and more in comparison so keep in mind post notification and check out these related videos I'll catch you guys in my next one bye